Winter is a great time for a movie night at home and you don't have to settle for greasy takeaways when you can whip up some family friendly food in your own kitchen. Let's sample this week's delicious alternative to the TV dinner. My family and I share a love of movies and it probably comes from my grandfather who owned a cinema in Durban. I'd spend most of my weekends and school holidays adventuring and exploring the cinema from the ticket office to the projector room. It was the glam movie days when my gran would wear a brand new sari just to catch the latest double feature. She'd also pack us off to the cinema with some homemade snacks. I've recreated movie night for my kids and now I'm going to get cooking some of those delicious homemade snacks. On the menu for movie night, we have lamb pizza pies, crumb chicken bombs, and for dessert, decadent chocolate cupcakes. I'm starting out by making the dough, and for that, we've got ordinary cake flour going into the mixing bowl. And then to that, season with salt. And now 175 mils of warm water. And in that, I've got two teaspoons of dried yeast, a pinch of salt, and a pinch of sugar. Let's get the beater going. I'm using a dough hook for this. The dough has come together nicely. It's quite soft and smooth and easy to work with as well. It looks like a tiny bit of dough, but just remember it is going to double in size. Just rolling that into a smooth ball. Use a bit of non-stick spray and spray the mixing bowl. And pop the dough now into the grease bowl. Cover that with plastic wrap and leave it in a warm place until the dough doubles in size. I'm going to get started with the chocolate cupcakes now. Anything chocolate's hard to resist. When I was a kid, I'd raid the tuck shop at the cinema and take any nutty chocolate I could find. And these cupcakes are going to be garnished with some nutty chocolate too. First ingredient going into the mixing bowl, flour. I add some sugar. And cocoa powder, I've sifted this already. A teaspoon and a half of baking powder, a pinch of salt and then 50 grams of butter. The next step, use a jug, combine some full cream milk, vanilla essence, and one egg. I use large eggs when I'm baking. Let's get this through to the mixer. Now get the beater going until the ingredients resemble a sandy consistency. Now in goes the full cream milk, egg, and vanilla and keep this going on a low speed. The batter is smooth. Now use a spoon and divide the batter between the paper cases. These are really simple to make. So simple, even my kids make them quite often. I think this one needs a little more. Use a spatula to scrape the bowl. Make sure you get all the batter into those cups. And there we have it. These go into a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 22 minutes. While that's in the oven, let's have a look at the dough. It's doubled in size, which means it's time to get started on the filling. First thing I learned about making pie fillings is to always spice it up a touch more. You don't want to have a bland filling with the pastry. I've got some lemon juice in here. Then olive oil, I'm using extra virgin, about two tablespoons. Garlic, I always add a touch extra anyway. Ginger, I've crushed this already. Green chili, of course. Sprinkling of cumin seeds, and that works really well with lamb. And just a touch, it can be quite overpowering. Some crispy fried brown onions, it's not at all oily. Then we've got some chopped onions. These are fresh, they add lots of moisture as well. Prevents the filling from drying out. Some chopped coriander. You could also use fresh thyme, spring onions if you like, even a touch of mint. Season with salt, and then black pepper. And then a tablespoon red chili powder. Use a wooden spoon and work these ingredients together. This is ready now for the dough. This has doubled in size already. Lift that out of the bowl. It's very, very light and spongy. Won't be needing that. And press down and work the dough until it's smooth. This is also called knocking back. 
and this gets all the air out of the dough because we want this to rise again. Now let's divide this into eight portions. For that, use a knife, cut down the center, and then divide in half again, and then once again. Roll each one into a ball and flatten. This is also one of the jobs that kids quite enjoy doing in the kitchen, just working with dough. So roll that until smooth and then press. They don't have to be perfectly smooth. Almost done. Now let's roll these out. A bit of flour going on the work surface. Now use a rolling pin to roll these out. And to the next one. And you've got to press down quite firmly. They're quite light and airy. I love having a light crispy dough with the filling in between. Now if you don't like lamb mince, you could also use chicken or even a vegetarian filling. Now place the rounds onto a baking tray. I've greased this with non-stick spray, but you could use melted butter if you like. Doesn't matter if they overlap slightly, we're gonna fold them over. A quick wipe down. Let's get the filling in. Just scoop up some of the filling and place that in the center of each piece of dough. The interesting thing about this pie is that you don't need to pre-cook the filling. It's the last one. Now take the second disc and just brush around the edges with a bit of water. Place that on top and I'm gently lifting and folding the top layer under the bottom one. Now the best way to do this is to actually fold up the edges of the dough around the mince. Grab the second round of dough, brush the edges with water and then drape them over. Lift up and tuck underneath just so you seal that pie properly. You could also fold these into semicircles and fold them over. I prefer doing two rounds of dough, just a bit of extra dough to hold that lovely filling in. And also you get to seal it quite nicely. These may crack when you bake them off, but that's just part of the appeal. Now lastly, olive oil going on top. Use a pastry brush just to spread that over. Lastly, some sesame seeds going on just to finish off these lovely meat pies. These add a lovely crunch and nuttiness to these pies. These go into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes or until they're golden brown and crispy. Let's have a look at the cupcakes. And those are ready. They've been in for about 22 minutes. They look perfect. And now the pies go into the oven. And now, while that's in the oven, let's leave these cupcakes aside to cool. And now for the chicken bombs, that's what my son calls them because they are a little like bombs. Firstly, seasoned deboned chicken drumsticks with some salt and black pepper. And remember not to use too much salt because cheese does have a fair bit of salt and that's the stuffing I'm using. And just make a little hole in the center. And I'm using grated cheese for this. Just pop that in. It's quite easy to do. Pepper dews go in and then more cheese. This is really comfort food. And it's my take on my Graham's crumb chicken. It's the perfect snack. Wipe your hands quickly. And for the next step, dip the chicken in flour. And then dip this into egg. And that goes into breadcrumbs. This gives it a lovely coating and makes it quite crisp. It's quite convenient having a little bit at the bottom, so you can just toss them quite easily. These really are a favorite in my home. And you could also make these in advance and fry them just before serving. Let's get these into hot oil. That's exactly what I was looking for, a sizzle when they hit the oil. Careful, the oil shouldn't be too hot. You don't want them to burn on the outside and remain raw. Wow, that looks amazing. Golden brown and crunchy. Those are ready. Let's pop them onto a platter. Now it's time to get the pies out the oven. Let's have a look and see. And that's exactly what they should look like. 
makes these pies look perfect. And when you tap down, they should sound quite hollow. Don't try this at home. I've got chef hands. Now this looks a bit like pita bread. And the last one. And that's the pies done. Now for those decadent chocolate cupcakes, I've got double chopped cream cheese frosting here. And this is butter whipped with icing sugar into light and fluffy. In goes some cream cheese and some cocoa powder and a touch of fresh cream too. Now just pipe from the outside, working your way to the center. You can also use fresh cream for this if you like. I always say double the chocolate, double the fun. Those look really good. Just pop on some chocolate, a fig going on top as well, a sprig of mint going on each cupcake. The green adds a lovely pop of color, and I've also got green and white striped cups. And for the parents who really don't like to eat chocolatey cupcakes, a few fresh figs going onto the side of the platter. They are magnificent. The food for movie night is done. We've got delicious lamb pies, cheesy chicken bombs, and for dessert, decadent chocolate cupcakes. I'm sure this is gonna earn me a gold star for my kids. And also, the right to choose tonight's movie. I've decided on an old school Bollywood romance called Pakiza from the 70s. It's one of my favorites. I hope you enjoy the treats.